Howdy, howdy. All right, so Tulsi Gabbard uh, sent out a tweet that's causing quite a ruckus. And one quick note on Tulsi. Where has she been during this Israel-Palestine conflict? Like, usually when there's a war going on somewhere, she sort of sticks her head out in the media and has a lot to say. She has been pretty silent about this. I don't recall her at all uh, commenting on it anywhere, oddly enough. I don't know. Maybe I just missed the tweets. I don't know. Uh, but she sent out a tweet today about anti-white racism. <laughs> Uh, you can just tell, like, th this person is, like, full mask off, uh, you know, alt-right, far-right, uh, you know, lunatic, uh, fringe, who we kind of all suspected she was. Like, we had our suspicions back in the primary, like, something about Tulsi just didn't add up, you know. Uh, you know, she has a history of being homophobic, she has a history of being transphobic, uh, you know, saying some, you know, just off-the-cuff right-wing style comments and you know she's trying to wedge herself as this progressive and you know a Bernie Sanders Democrat and you know all these progressive stances and it, it seemed I mean like I said she's full mask off now she, she's really a vapid politician who you know licks her finger and holds it up to the wind and finds out which way it's blowing and she blows right along with it so it's like she's just like everyone else in Washington um, and anyways, she sent out a tweet today about the mayor of Chicago. Uh, the mayor of Chicago, um, a black woman, that's important context, um, stated something along the lines, she wants to uh, talk to people of color in the press uh, more than other people. And she had her reasons, she explains it, I'm sure you can Google and, and, and find out those reasons. But the mayor of Chicago... Uh, you know, said she wants people of color. She wants to talk to people of color more often in the press. Okay. Uh, which which sounds like an equality-centered thing to do. I, I, I mean, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, but anyways, Tulsi Gabbard uh, said in a tweet, she, she said that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris need to condemn the mayor of Chicago's words uh, and called the mayor of Chicago an anti-white racist. That's not how this works, Tulsi. <laughs> That's literally not a thing. That's not even a thing. Anti-white racism. Like, you, you, you only see words like that on the fringes of right-wing news media. Like... Only, only the most disingenuous minds among us can come up with the term anti-white racism. Now, there might be prejudice involved in the situation. That might be valid. But racism? <laughs> it, 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 it cannot fit the literal definition of racism. It can't. This country... Was, was built by white people in power, okay? And that's a fact. And that is a racist society. We are an apartheid society that has healed a little bit, uh, but, you know, we're a racist society. That's just, object that's just objectivity. Um, but you can see Tulsi, like, going full mask off here. This is full mask off. Tulsi, uh, who, who I have been expecting uh, to see, someone who's just outright pandering to the far right. She's likely gigging for a job at Fox News or Newsmax, because I think she's done being a politician. So now she's just going to be a disingenuous hack uh, as her next goal in life. And sending out tweets like this, she's off to the races with this. Uh, you know, she should be on Newsmax or Fox News in no time. Uh, you know, keeping up this level of hackery uh, with these anti-white racism tweets. My God, we, we really do live in, in, in one of the dumbest societies, and it messes with me because we're so powerful and we're so modernized, and 
you know, on so many levels we can't be beat. But intellectually, we're really dumb. And it's people like Tulsi Gabbard remind me every single time how dumb we are. But she, she, she's just a game player. She's just playing the game. Like, like she's not as dumb as I think she is. Like, like she knows what game she's playing. She knows who she's pandering to. She knows that anti-white racism literally isn't a thing. But the base that she's catering to thinks it's a thing, okay? And she's a person of color, so she could always use that as an out. It's just, just pure political angling for her, uh, you know, for her grift. She has no core, uh, you know, political philosophy. She's just a grifter. Whichever way the, the political winds blow, Tulsi Gabbard blows along with it. So that's what we're dealing with here. Ridiculous, disingenuous, reverse racism. Clown show, total clown show, these people on the right. But anyways, let me know your comments. Uh, have a lovely weekend.